half square and quarter square triangles are two of the most common components in patchwork quilts. Traditionally, triangles are cut then stitched, a process that often results in askew blocks. I'd like to show you three fast and easy ways to quickly make triangles. The quilt that we have on display is just filled with half square triangles. Four half square triangles create the square within the square block. Here you can see an hourglass block and then a pinwheel with four blocks put together. Very traditional block made with two half square triangles is the flying geese pattern. Regardless of what pattern you're making or design, if you're making triangles, try one of these three great ways of putting together triangles. Cut squares. Follow your pattern and cut the squares and I have a light fabric and a dark fabric stacked on top of each other. And it's also on point. And I'm going to be using what's called a quick quarter. The quick quarters come in two sizes, 12 inches and 8 inches. I'm going to use the smaller one. You place the end of it on point with the point of the fabric and you mark on both sides. Down the center is the marking for your cutting line. Then you stitch along both sides. You might want to pin your fabrics together and you can chain stitch as many blocks together as you'd like. Then cut down the center and when you do you have a block on each side. So the results from two squares becomes two blocks. Another option for creating triangles is to use tape and this is called tiger tape. It's a scant half of an inch wide and I like this because I usually like to stitch with a scant fourth of an inch seam allowance so after pressing I end up with a fourth of an inch seam. Well the same process works here that you have a light and a dark fabric. You cut the tape end following one of the arrows so that when the fabrics are laying on point you just place the tape down, down the center and you can get it aligned. After stitching on both sides of the tape, you'll end up with a scant fourth of an inch seam allowance. Then cut down the center with the scissors or use a rotary cutter and mat. And then press open, pressing the seam allowances to the right side, perfect squares of half square triangles. And I'd like to show you how to make half square triangles from strips of fabric, not squares. I'm using thangles and thangles is a paper that you can stitch through and use as a pressing guide as well. You can create six different sizes of triangles. Each triangle has its own packaging from very small one inch half square triangles, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and a very large four. Like making half square triangles from squares, you're going to cut strips of fabric in contrasting fabrics, not squares. So again using a light and a dark and you're placing them together, right sides together, and then you place the thangles paper on top. The packaging tells you exactly what strip width to cut. Sometimes it's easier cutting strips than it is cutting squares. The dash lines are where you're going to stitch. The solid lines are where you're going to cut. So stitch along the diagonals and after stitching all of them then do the cutting. Below I have the squares cut. Notice they're a little oblong but they'll, when they're cut they'll be perfect squares. Then cut diagonally down the center. Now you can press with the paper in place because the paper might give you a pressing guide or will give you a pressing guide. And my iron is ready to press and I have the paper aligned perfectly with the fabric edge so I'll be assured of an accurate four inch finished block. The paper's still here. The size 80 needle that I'd use to do the stitching perforates the paper. You can just tear it away in seconds and you already have your block pressed and again another great way of creating a half square triangle. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to test out your new sewing or quilting skills. Order your supplies today.